Hello there, I'm Chris Slight here for XSplit and today we're going to be taking a look at some little updates that have come out that can have some big effects on how you stream. All of this is included with your XSplit Broadcaster license, so let's take a look. Okay, so one of the first features we're going to look at, and I know we're in like the infinite loop zone, we've got XSplit Broadcaster going <laughs> to XSplit Broadcaster, but... We've got a new feature for you here that we've had in beta for a little while now, but I kind of just wanted to show you how easy it is to get done. Background removal. Now, you don't need specific hardware or specific software. So like you don't need an NVIDIA card. You don't need to install anything else. This is just baked into XSplit Broadcast and it's really simple to do. So you've got your camera set up here. All you need to do... <laughs> Love that I look like that. <laughs> That, that if you're interested how i made this a circle that's just heading into masking and changing the shape like i could make myself rectangular again or like an oval that i went with but what we want to do is head over to background the removal automag give it a second click ok there you go i'm still in an oval because i haven't changed my shape let me change that actually masking none so yeah, I can also, like, I've cropped my camera. Interesting fact, if you press Alt on your keyboard when you do this, crops your camera. So you can see it hasn't fully done that because I have my camera cropped, but, I mean, that ain't bad, right? Built in. And that's that's just using stuff built into XSplit Broadcaster. Let's look at some more features. Your audio is getting an upgrade in XSplit Broadcaster, and that is thanks to the introduction of presentation sources. If you got the latest version of XSplit Broadcaster, all you got to do, turn this on. But head to settings, head to audio, and then have presentation sources checked there. The bro broadcaster will restart when you've done that. But what that means is now when you go to your audio mixer, you get different options. As you can see, I've got my master volume. I can turn that up and down. I've got my global devices, which I've set at the moment to just be my mixing console and my game capture. But... As you can see, we now have control over different programs and can level their volume however we want, right? So I've got Apple Music in here and I've got my Discord. So if I was on a call, if I was playing a game with people, I could capture their audio, but I could also level everything. And you do this just by adding sources to whatever scene you're in. So this will change per scene as well. This is the scene I'm on at the moment, but I can have it different in a different scene. You'd go to add source and then application audio. And you see whatever applications I've got open, I can select that. So here's a feature that we've improved based on feedback. We discussed that at the beginning, right? Twitch VOD output, we've got a second track for that. That's something we've had in XSplit Broadcaster for a little while. It's something Twitch introduced a little while ago when a few years back, we uh, got a lot of DMCA takedowns and a big worry about all of that. But We've made its implementation a little easier. So all you need to do, head to your broadcast, select whichever one you're after, then VOD track, assign to track two. If you want a specific one, you can assign it here, but that's it. And then you just click okay and you're done. Pretty simple, really. Also just something extra and bonus application audio capture so when you're capturing stuff like apple music or your discord like i have here that we set up earlier just minimizing the window or having it running in the background it doesn't stop capturing the audio anymore if the audio is still playing it's still captured via that nice and easy but it's a little thing that people have suggested based on how everything was working that they like so we implemented it into xsplit broadcaster that's really the plan going forward, so enjoy it. Also, updates. As I mentioned, we're kind of doing them all the time, so just make sure you click updates because we bring these out all the time. Click update all and you'll be set. And that's just a few of the updates we've put out recently. We try and get updates out as regularly as we can and we also want to hear from you. What features or improvements would you like to see in Exploit Broadcaster? How can we make your life easier as a content creator, as a streamer? What's 
holding you back at the moment? What's the thing that you're like, oh man, if only I could do X, Y, or Z, I could make this new thing that'd be really exciting. Because that's what drives us as developers, and we know that's what drives you as content creators. It's this desire to do something fun and cool. So let us know in the comments below, or reach out to us on social media, wherever you find XSplit. Let us know things you're interested in us trying out, things you're interested in doing. Background removal, that was a beta feature, but now we're rolling it out. It's fun, it works, and it's simple. That's what XSplit Broadcast is all about. So thank you for joining us in this video today. I'll be back next time. See you all very soon.